boys. I've never been to this spot before. I've been scoping out some new creeks to fish for this summer. And this spot seems pretty juicy. So I'm hoping there's gonna be fish here. We're gonna find out shortly. I'm loving this shade. That's for dang sure. Whoo, water looks clear. I think we might be in business. Hopefully there's bass in here. Even if we just get on a good panfish bite, it'll still be a fun one. Guys, there is a topwater hit on a frog. This place is looking very dragonfly-ish, if you know what I'm trying to say. The thing is, is that I can... Oh, son of a gun. He bit off one of my frog legs. I think I'm gonna put the dragon slayer on. Let's see if they'll eat a blackout dragonfly. Got one, guys. Dragonfly. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's a little bass. Let's go. Got a creek bass. Not too bad either. Slurp that blackout. Let's go. Caught him right in that deep little uh, shaded hole. Cool. Guys, I had pinned that little bass that I caught so well that I was trying to uh, dig my pliers out and I was kind of prying on the hook and the fish dropped off the board and it broke my braid knot. I couldn't go back through twice to do like a even a Palomar or the triple pits and like I normally do because the line eyelet was so small on the uh, smaller size floating jig head and he broke my knot and got away. But he also sells bigger floating jig heads uh, that's actually has a one-out hook on it, so only the bass are probably going to be big enough to eat that hook, um, and we'll see if they'll still uh, bite it with that bigger floating jig head on there now that I lost my little one. There he is. Yeah, so I knew there were a lot of panfish in here too, guys, and I kind of knew what I needed to throw if I wanted to see what they were. It's a little bluegill. That's hopefully not a hole in the board. I hate it when that happens, but a tiny Euro Tackle Z popper in a bluegill color. We'll see if the bass will eat that in here too. Got one. Another really small something. That's a really small green sunfish. You gotta put something on with little treble hooks and you'll find out what lives in your body's water. That popper is very small and easy to eat, so those little uh, panfish can tee off on it too. But don't be surprised if I catch a few bass on it. I'm gonna keep it tied on. Dragonfly quit drawing bites when I lost a small jig head. Guys, started out promising looks promising clear water there's just not that much depth about all i was seeing was sunfish and even most of them are too small to eat the baits that i'm throwing and i just don't think it's worth it to stick around to catch some three and four inch sunfish i think i caught maybe the one lone bass in this little pool that stretches up about a half mile so we're gonna go try some other places that i scoped out last night all right boys now we might be talking. Use the V8 motor, travel down a little further uh, east, and looks in, looking like it's wider and deeper. Both good things. Dang it, guys. First cast in, and definitely not the target species, but we have a gar on the tiny glide. And it looks like I wrapped him too, so I'm gonna have to be really careful with my line. got back in the water he's swimming off sorry I didn't get a close-up of him but I didn't want him getting away with my tiny glide 
That's definitely the first gar I've ever caught. Wish I would have had it turned on when he bit it because he hit it and then as soon as he felt he was hooked, he jumped out of the water. It was insane. I had him hooked under his chin where they have like softer skin. It, it wasn't in his bony mouth. All right guys, so I have spotted a couple of bass that were about 12 inches long. I rolled up on them too fast, but it's the first two bass that I've seen. But I catch the three inch long sunfish. <laughs> but that's okay, I think. Look at this coming up right here. If there's not some bass in this shade line, I don't think there's gonna be catchable bass in this creek and we might have to audible again. Got him. Sight fishing. There's one, boys. Unfortunately, that's about all the bigger bass that I've seen in this creek. So, and there are three of them. They were all this size. And they won't eat the swim bait, unfortunately. But they will eat the jig. Little creek largey. Well guys, I think it's safe to say this creek, although it has a couple of sort of deep pools, this first one kind of gave me false hope. Probably the deepest one that I had, and it's really only like three foot deep. There were gar in here, and really just in this pool, you saw the one that I caught, and then, you know, some 10 to 12 inch bass. I uh, caught two of those. I think I only got one on camera. So we're still, we're gonna hop to one more creek and we're going to see if we can salvage um, the afternoon. We started at 8.30, it's 11.30 now, so it's been pretty rough so far and it's already in the upper 90s, so luckily we got shade and we got cool water on our feet. Got a bluegill on the panorama and flashback at this other so I made it to the other creek, guys. Good looking bluegill. Bigger than the ones we were catching at the other spot. He ate the uh, two inch sunfish panorama on the flashback. Got one. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty one. That is crazy colored. Bright turquoise. Sunfish on sunfish prime there, guys. Isn't that cool? I just caught another really pretty one in that shade there, guys. Those would make some crazy good aquarium fish. Really pretty there. There's one. Little bass. Cool. There we go. Little bass on the two inch panorama and flashback. Got one. Might be a better. Oh, it's a big pan fish, guys. What is that? That's a green. Oh, there's a bass. Look, look, look. Look at the, look at the big bass chasing the green sunfish. There's two of them. Two big bass. Oh, that was sick. Okay, we're in a good spot now, guys. Look at that blimp of a green sunfish. Oh, uh, okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the two inch panorama off. I'm gonna put on a, a little glide bait and we're gonna see if we can catch those two big bass that just uh, got drawn in when this green sunfish was hooked. That was awesome. Got one. Got one on the nugget, guys. 
Oh, it might be pretty good too. Oh, he's decent. All right. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that was sick. I had one hooked the cast before this. Try to get to a spot where I can actually land him. Oh yeah, he's got both trebles upside his chin. Come on. There's what some grinding will do. Finally got to a spot where there's some sizable fish. Yeah, I figured I'd come up here in the shade to where I could actually get a decent picture because it is 12 o'clock noon, so the sun's as high in the sky as it'll get. So the lighting for pictures is as bad as it can get. There's a pretty good fish on that nugget glide bait, guys. Fishing outside the box. There he goes. Y'all, there's drum in this creek too. There's a big old drum right there. If I'm half as much of a drum magnet as what I normally am, he might end up eating something I'm throwing. Well guys, if nothing else, we're at least able to rule out some water today. First spot would make a good swimming hole and it's got a ton of really small sunfish in it. Um, I only caught that one little bass almost on the first cast didn't see another bass the whole rest of the time second spot looked promising thought it was going to be after i caught that uh, pretty decent sized gar on the first cast um, and i saw maybe four or five bass the entire like stretch that i ran and it was like a full mile long stretch um, and i caught a couple of dinks it was a really pretty spot It'd be a great place just to put a kayak or a paddleboard in and go for a paddle and then this third spot actually had some decent sized bass in it. I think I saw five bass and I had two fish on, landed just the one, and then landed a couple of really pretty uh, sunfish as well. But, you know, it's one of those things you don't know until you know. And I wanted to explore some new creeks and see if I could find um, some more spots. But you know, sometimes that's fishing. Sometimes, you know, places just don't hold fish and um, stuff doesn't pan out. If y'all enjoy these creek videos, please leave a like for me and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And talk to me down in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. Check out links to discount codes in the description above. I've got one for Moondog and Great Lakes Finesse. Um, check out the Bass Brother merch on Amazon. Check out Province merch on Instagram. He has a store too as well. And check out the link in the pinned comment for more bait finesse bass action. But other than that, y'all take her easy. We'll catch you on the next one. Got one. Might be a better. Oh, it's a big panfish, guys. What is that? That's a green. Oh, there's a bass. Look, look, look. Look at the, look at the big bass chasing the green sunfish. There's two of them.